Hello and welcome to another episode of Buncombe County Weekly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Just to let you know, all the information I'm going to give you can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're there, you can subscribe to our online magazine, Buncombe County Ezine. Also, you can watch all of BCTV's videos online whenever you like by visiting our YouTube page at youtube.com slash bcgovtv. And don't forget to subscribe. Well, due to the recent annoying amount of snow we recently received, the National Girls and Women in Sports Day that was supposed to take place in February is now taking place on Saturday, March 26th. Ladies, are you ready for the National Girls and Women in Sports Day? It's a community event designed to give women of all ages a chance to try out a variety of fun activities. This year's event will be held at UNCA on Saturday, March 26th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The day consists of clinics designed to motivate girls and women to lead an active, healthy life. The goal is to give girls and women the opportunity to try a new sport, a fitness class, or just build skills in a sport of interest. Women and girls aged 6 and up are invited to participate. The entry fee is only $15 per person and includes the sports clinics, a t-shirt, goodie bag, a healthy lunch, and a chance at door prizes. For more information or to register, contact Allison at the Stevens Lee Recreation Center at 828-350-2058 or email her at adames at astralnc.gov. If you have any questions about your taxes or if you need assistance in filling out your tax returns, Buncombe County can help. The AARP Tax Aid Program, in cooperation with the IRS, the NC Department of Revenue, the Council on Aging, and the Buncombe County Public Libraries will again offer free tax preparation for seniors and low to middle income taxpayers. For the times, documentation needed, and dates of assistance at Pack Library, the West Asheville Library, Weaverville Library, or Black Mountain Library, Call the libraries individually or check online at buncombecounty.org where all the information is listed. For questions and requests for homebound individuals, please call the Buncombe County Council on Aging at 277-8288. Well, the Buncombe County Parks, Greenway, and Recreation Department offer many sightseer workshops and trips, including their upcoming creative basketry class. Learn to weave a twined basket in this new workshop scheduled for Thursday, March 17th. Carla Filippelli will instruct in the twining method of weaving. Sightseers will create a small garlic basket or water bottle with hand-dried reeds. The workshop will take place from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and cost $55 per person, which includes all materials. The class will take place at the administrative office at 59 Woodfin Place and is limited to the first 10 students to register. So for more information, contact the Buncombe County Parks, Greenway, and Recreation Office at 250 Four two six zero. Well, if you love reading and if you love children, then the Preschool Outreach Project could be the perfect fit for you, and they're currently looking for volunteers. The Preschool Outreach Project is an outreach service of Buncombe County Public Libraries designed to bring the joy and excitement of books to children in child care centers. No formal experience is necessary, and all they ask is you participate in a one-day training event before being assigned to a local center. The next training will occur on Saturday, April 2nd at Pack Memorial Library in downtown Asheville. Interested volunteers must complete a volunteer application prior to training. For more information or to request an application, please call 250-4729 or email pop at buncombecounty.org. Well, if you're interested in adding a new member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of dogs and cats currently in need of a good home. The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to the compassionate treatment of animals through education, sheltering, and adoption. Please visit our new adoption center located at 14 Forever Friend Lane to view our many wonderful animals available for adoption. Twigs is a unique white and gray short hair two-year-old male cat. He is very lovable and enjoys the company of people. Roscoe is a tan and white terrier pup. At about four months old, he is very curious and active. Mayflower is a one-year-old black and white female short hair cat. She loves to be with people and lounge on the couch. Rio is a tri-color hound mix. At a year old, he is full of energy but very intelligent and will learn quickly. 
Butler is two years old. He is a bobtail cat with very distinctive brown tabby markings and a great personality to match. Cricket is a six-month-old female pup. She is a Labrador pit bull mix. She is very interested in playing with people. Ariella is a gorgeous female black cat. She is about two years old and very loving, smart, and playful. Maynard is a handsome hound. He is about one and a half years old and looking for an active family to love him. Stevie is about three years old. He is a handsome orange tabby and white cat. He is a large cat, but a real charmer. Milky Way is a four-month-old male black and tan shepherd mix. He will be a large dog, but has a huge heart. To reach the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center, call 828-761-2001. To view all of our adoptable animals, you may visit AshevilleHumane.org. Well, if you're interested in growing your own fruits and vegetables, but you don't know where to start, the Buncombe County Office of Cooperative Extension can help with their homegrown fruits and vegetable class series. It will start on Monday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7 p.m. with a backyard small fruits class. Many small fruits are not difficult to grow in Western North Carolina. This class will teach you about growing strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and grapes. On Monday, March 28th from 5.30 to 7 p.m., there will be a Starting a Vegetable Garden class. This class will be especially useful for those planning to start their first vegetable garden. Slightly more experienced gardeners are, however, welcome to come and pick up some new ideas. Pre-registration is required for each class, and each class costs $5. For more information or to pre-register, contact the Office of Cooperative Extension at 255-5522 or check out their website at buncombe.ces.ncsu.edu. The friends of the library bookstore at Pack Library, bookends in the Mary Parker Room, needs your donations of gently used books, music, and movies. I'm Gil Elliott. I'm a volunteer with the Buncombe County Friends of the Library, uh, working in bookends, uh, which is now on the main floor of Pack Library. Uh, we've been open, really, uh, in this new location, since October and uh, right now we're open anytime the library is open uh, books are available for sale at good prices we have good quality books we have books that are you know been donated from states and uh, discarded by the library we're still looking for donations so any uh, the tax deductible donations any books that uh, people have that they want to get rid of uh, just call the library let us know we'll even come pick them up but uh, we do need volunteers to help us stock the shelves and uh, price books and things like that. And uh, we need people to come in and peruse the selections that we have and hopefully make purchases. But we're thankful to be here. It's a beautiful location and uh, the library is doing well. And speaking of libraries, now it's time for a list of upcoming events sponsored by the Buncombe County Public Library System. On Thursday, March 17th at 7 p.m., the Fairview Library will hold their evening book club featuring the book A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving. All interested readers are welcome to attend. On Friday, March 18th at 4 p.m., the Weaverville Library will be holding their Teen Awesome group. Don't miss this much-anticipated group event to discuss the new spring teen program that involves books, filming and editing, and a walk down the red carpet. Be there and bring your friends. On Tuesday, March 22nd at 4 p.m., the Black Mountain Library will hold a hula hoop jam. The event is free and the public is invited. Be sure to bring your own hula hoop. On Thursday, March 31st at 7 p.m., the Swannanoa Library will hold their evening book club, featuring the book The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. All interested readers are welcome to attend. Now those are just a few of the events sponsored by the Buncombe County Public Library System. If you'd like to see a full list, check out our website at buncombecounty.org, or you can just call your local branch library and see what they've got going on that week. Well, the Buncombe County Parks, Greenway, and Recreation Department is helping students with their creativity with their Empower Tree writing workshop. 
The workshop will take place on Thursday, March 24th at their administrative office at 59 Woodfin Place in Asheville from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It will be presented by Nicole Watkins, a youth leader for teens, career coach, after school program director, and more. The purpose of Empower Tree is to empower youth to discover the joys and benefits of writing. Students will uncover inner writing ability and talent, enhance and develop critical thinking skills, develop public speaking proficiency, and improve literacy and vocabulary skills. The workshop is for students aged 11 to 13 with a cost of $50 per student, which includes a journal and writing supplies, two snacks, and lunch. March 24th is a teacher workday for Buncombe County, and the workshop is limited to 20. So if you're interested, please register and submit your payment by Friday, March 18th. For more information, contact Grace Young at 250-4260 or email grace.young at buncombecounty.org. And now it's time to keep an eye out for this week's Mountains Most Wanted. Francisco Javier Nunez is wanted for felony possession of marijuana and possession of marijuana with intent to sell and deliver. Eric David Boyles is wanted for possession of stolen goods, misdemeanor possession of marijuana, probation violation, and driving while license revoked. If you have information on either of these mountains most wanted, or if you know of their whereabouts, give Crime Stoppers a call at 255-5050 or send an email to tips at buncombecounty.org. By providing information that leads to an arrest, you could be eligible for a cash reward. To see a full list of your Mountains Most Wanted, check out our website at buncombecounty.org or stay tuned here to BCTV where we broadcast them throughout the day. Well, Buncombe County has many resources to keep you up to date with current county events. You can find us in print, online, in your inbox, and of course on TV. You can see us in print with Buncombe Life Publication, which can be picked up at any county office and library. Online, you can find us not only at buncombecounty.org, but through Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can go directly to facebook.com slash buncombegov to become our friend, sign up to follow our Twitter feed by visiting twitter.com slash buncombegov, or subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash bcgovtv. You can also get the latest news sent to your inbox by signing up for our e-zine on our homepage at buncombecounty.org. And of course, you can view us right here on BCTV on Charter Channel 2. And speaking of BCTV, we have a variety of original programming that you can not only watch on TV, but on our YouTube page to keep you tuned in to Buncombe County. Programming such as Buncombe Life for current county events and promotions, Come out and play for a detailed list of all of our parks, greenway, and recreation department events. Check out our Buncombe News updates for recent county news. Come in around the mountain story time and preschoolers we love you for the kids. We also have a number of programs from our cooperative extension office ranging from basic home maintenance to monthly garden chores to even staying healthy. You can also catch Air Force News and Army News Watch here on BCTV. And of course our Board of Commissioners regular meetings. If you'd like a copy of any of our programs or would just like to send us some feedback, email bctv at buncombecounty.org. Thanks for watching and have a great week, Buncombe County.